Okay, so the first thing we have to do is make rice. At least, that's the impression I've been given. It says that I need to take this, put it in my rice hickajig thingy, and mix some water in there, and mix it with this oh-so-glorious shovel spoon thing until it becomes rice consistency. I don't know if it's supposed to granulate like rice or if it's just gonna be rice shaped. I don't know. But we're gonna figure it out. Um, I don't record much. So, you guys get to see me in a bit. Okay, I've added water to this oval shaped rice making device and I'm going to pour my rice powder in there it appears to be uh, similar to thick, chunky baking soda, which I'm not sure if I'm excited about putting in me or not, but here we are. Go ahead and mix this in here, like the little chef that we are, and it's becoming chunky like bad fake snow. It also smells like grapes. That's not super heartening to me. I don't like my rice to smell like grapes, I like it to smell like rice. And in this case, I like my rice to smell like nothing. But, I got grapes. Either way, it looks an awful lot like sticky rice. Why am I doing that? I can turn this thing around. Maybe I can't turn this thing around once it's going, but... There we have some now very, very potently smelling grape rice stuff and it's kind of I think it's I think it's done mixing. I think we're we're done here. Let's go on to the next step, shall we? Make an egg roll. Alright. Which of these packs do I need to make an egg roll? It looks an awful lot like this orange -ish pack? No, orange I had two different shades of orange. I'm not sure which one is which. One of them's salmon eggs and one of them's egg roll. And I really, really, really don't want to mix th miss those up. Ah, uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, I know this doesn't seem like much time for you, but I've opened up what I think is egg roll pack. We're now going to add some water to what they call the the whirly shape container. Who makes these instructions? I don't know. But they seem like they had fun with their life. So that's good. I'm glad for them. This... I love using this little dropper. It's like not even a little tiny bit useful. But somehow... Some way... I have filled it to the egg drop line. Now I'll add my eggs and mix it up with that spoon shovel thing again. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I got all my egg powder in there, but we're going to find out in a second. Come on eggs, mix up. I believe I got the right one, but these eggs are kind of chalky for some reason. Oh shit. I dumped part of my egg into the bit that I need to be part of my uh, salmon egg later. That's not good. And this is not one to mix for the life of anything. But it was it also tells me to wait for three minutes for it to harden. So, oh, oh, this stuff is awesome. I can shovel it with this little shovel spoon thing right out of this thing that I need it to not be in. Five in the morning, guys. Five twenty now, and uh, this is this is already like I needed to have had my mental facilities about me, and I'm already iffy on that at best. But I think we got it all back in there, and I'm gonna wait on that for three minutes. While I wait on that for three minutes, I don't need to stop there. I can go on to the next step, which also needs three minutes to harden. I'm going to put water in the container with the wavy lines using the dropper up to the limit line inside. I can do that. We can do this. This is the other wavy line. The one that's vaguely salmon shaped. The scariest salmon I've ever seen in my life, but vaguely salmon shaped nonetheless. 
good. Looks like, oh, that might have been a little bit much. Let's pull some of that. Perfect. Just pop that right back in that water. That water. And good. The pinkish package. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and we're going to mix this disturbing concoction together. I, uh, I'm a little concerned, and the smell is getting quite strong. I'm very certain at this point in time that I'm in for the grapiest sushi I've ever known in my entire life. Like, if a grape fucked another grape, and they had grapes that decided to go live in Asia and then turn themselves into sushi for some reason. That would be this that that grapes love child with a hippie grape from the seventies. Like that's a really bad analogy, but you know. Either way, I think it's gonna be tasty. It's just I kinda wanted my sushi to taste like fish and rice. Also, there's a soy sauce that they give me to go with this. So unless the soy sauce is also grape flavored, I'm fixing to put soy sauce on grape stuff. So this may be in, 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 inevitably a, uh, a video of me hurling. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, that is some form of gelatinous mass now. I'm going to try to show you. Yep, yep, that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. That stuff needs about three minutes to harden. Now we're going to make the seaweed. It says spread out the black soft candy on the outer plastic wrapping where you can find the correct size of seaweed for salmon egg sushi. What? You know what? It's... Oh man, it's got a thing. Unfortunately for me, it's not in the right shape. It wants me to cut it out. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I've got with me what is going to be a bit of seaweed, just large enough for fish egg seaweed. It's kind of, I don't know if you can really tell, it's about an inch and a half long, and it's got grooves on it like you need to get traction. And the little image that I'm looking at shows me smushing it out, and then pulling it out, and thinning it out into what's going to eventually be a seaweed wrap. That unfortunately requires two hands, so I will be right back. Alright, I have made that seaweed, and it really does not look like seaweed. No, it's kind of grayish at this point, and it's kind of disturbing. I think it's stuck to the bag, so... I'll it's uh, it's not the prettiest seaweed I've ever seen, but I mean it was made of gelatinous candy, so what can you expect? Now it wants me though to fill the spots marked A and B, not swirly and swirly, thankfully, uh, with just enough water to get to that fill line there. This is going to be my fish eggs, which apparently is a three-step process. I'm only minorly concerned, but I think, I think I've got the amount of water I need in here, yes, fantastic, sponge that in there, and now I've got to, man, I gotta do two packets at once, what? Uh, this is getting complicated. I need, for a packet that's green, I can get it to tear off without spilling over. Green to go into spot A. And I'm going to actually try to prop up my camera here for a second. Fantastic. This is all going to go into A. Hopefully, hopefully I don't screw this up. And mix them together. It's kind of a clear blue gray color until it dissolves nicely it says so if it dissolves crankly I should not use this powder like none of this is actually really dissolving all that nicely it's just sort of it's work it's trying it's trying hard actually I think that's about as good as I need that to be 
and then packet orange, which you can't really see because there's 8,000 8, kinds of glare in my room. I know, it's, it's rough for gaming. That needs to go into B. Oh man. Salmon eggs, I can tell. It's already beating up into little balls. <laughs> balls. And then I'm supposed to... Mix them until it dissolves nicely. I can do that too. Oh man, this is a much smaller hole. No pun intended. It's also significantly thicker. Again, no pun intended. I'm getting on getting on to my eggs. You guys have to catch me at another time. This is just not a good time of the day for me. It's about the consistency of Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A, which I know all of you know about because it's amazing. Some of it got onto my egg. I'm trying to evacuate that. It's about as evacuated as it's going to get, I think. I'll scrape that off. That is not sushi flavored. Not even a little bit. Now, it wants me to use the dropper to suck liquid B up and drop it very softly into the A container from about three centimeters. You know what guys? This is pretty damn cool. It makes little tiny salmon eggs. I'm gonna have to show this to you after I'm done with this bit here because it's really evident right now. Alright. Try to show you guys. Can you see that some of those are like beaded in? There's like oh well, there's salmon eggs. So I'll put you back over here and we're gonna keep doing this until there's actually some of them I think might have dissolved away. But this is this is pretty damn cool. I'm not gonna lie. I would not have wanted to do this at like work or in some form of like emergency thing. I have no idea how I'm gonna get these eggs out into the proper spot, and I think I may have just messed them up a little bit, but for the most part. My little dropper of eggs is going to be glorious, I think. Although, it's getting hard to tell. It is getting hard to tell if I'm not just smashing them together. It's really difficult, actually. And it makes the funkiest noises. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm going to cut this a little bit so that you don't have to sit here for the next 15 minutes and watch me make noises. Alright, so I'm done making eggs and I'm gonna make some soy sauce. If I can figure out how to get this pack open. I, don't, I think I can figure it out, but I am also an adult and we're not good at things, so... <sighs> I have filled the the portion that's marked soy sauce, but it's marked soy sauce in Chinese, so that's the last one left. I'm assuming it's that one. I filled that one up to the measuring half portion, and I'm adding the powder. It's brown like root beer. Go ahead and mix that up. This is disturbing looking, almost, and then I like how in the instructions it says, enjoy having sushi with soy sauce, with air quotes. Well, it has regular quotes because it's typed out, but I use air quotes because I can't type on the air. I can, however, make air quotes and be lame. That's my prerogative as an adult. I have a beard. I must be lame. 
Oh, no, oh, I, I spilled my Swiss sauce on my rice. I think I'll get over it. I think that is pretty well mixed. I'm going to show you an aerial view of my not super appetizing meal. But there you go. We got some rice. We got two toppings, three toppings, and some soy sauce. I'm going to wrap it up. We're going we're gonna to look at this, but it is going to require two hands. I'm going to put you guys down. Uh, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and make some rice. Ooh, it's kind of weird feeling. Get a little rice ball. Set it aside. I'm going to set it on top of the wrapping. It actually says to cut the egg in half. Alright, I can do that. And I'm going to take the egg, which is solidified, and put it over my rice. And I think I got a little bit too too little rice, but <laughs> shit, it's slippery. But I have rice with egg, and oh boy, that's nasty. I don't know why. But grape sushi is just not good. But Nathan's not a quitter. So we're going to eat this. We're going to like it. And we're going to get a different pack next time. I'm going to go for, I think, the tuna next. Make it a little bit more rice if I can. Glob about the size of a silver dollar. Cut the tuna in half as well. Scoops out, it looks kind of like a raspberry jelly. But if you look closely, it's got the pattern in there. So it does have the tuna pattern. I'm gonna drape it over my my definitely not perfectly rolled sushi to have a nice piece of sushi. That one was actually a little bit better. Maybe it's just growing on me, I don't know. Next thing I'm going to do is do the, uh, the salmon eggs sushi. So I'm going to take a portion of rice, and I actually don't have enough rice here for the whole thing. But a little ball, and I'm going to wrap our faithful seaweed around it. Oh man, I may have gotten too much rice. It's okay, we can pack it down in there. smash that together. So I've got a piece of sushi rice in seaweed and we are going to scoop out some delicious salmon eggs and put those on top. Alright, they're very sticky apparently. They stick to the spoon as you take them out. This might be the coolest looking candy I've ever seen in my entire life. I want you to see this. This right here is some legit candy. This is candy on another level, man. Probably won't taste great, but it's cool. And cool is where it's at. So, bon appetit. Not bad, not bad. I'm getting used to grape sushi. Next time I have sushi, I'll be sure to order it grape style. I'm not sure if I won't get funny looks, but next we're going to try the because I don't have enough don't have enough rice here to do all this. I'm going to just tear off some rice. I'm going to dip it in the soy sauce because yeah. Well, that's just grape juice. Yeah, that's brown grape juice. I'm kind of sad that they only gave me enough uh, seaweed wrap for the one, because I have about three more, oh, I have about one more worth of salmon eggs. 
I guess I'll just eat those plain. They were pretty good. They could have used a little more pop, but I mean, for something that I made in my own home in about five minutes, not bad. Not bad at all. So, would I recommend this? If you really like grapes, yes. If you aren't a fan of grapes, probably not. If you aren't a fan of weird sushi textures, because this is not textured the way sushi is textured, probably not. But it was fun. It was very fun. And I had fun talking to you guys. So I'm going to wrap this up in some tuna and soy sauce and see you guys later.